Twitter has a reel. Uh, I think their copy is real good. I don't know if you guys, you'll have to log out um, to see it. So if you don't want to do that now, that's fine. Um, but some other time you can do it. Um, I like they break it down. It's not exactly who and what, but they have what, why, how. For a company as big as Twitter, they don't get into who because, you know, they millions and millions of people are visiting. For a small business, a startup, you know, real important to say who you are to give some context to the product. But Twitter is marketing to Oprah and Shaq by this point, and they're not marketing to people who really want to know who they are. They're marketing to narcissists, so <laughs> narcissists don't want to know that. Um, so they go over what, why, how, which more or less is what I was talking about. You know, they say what Twitter is. Well, I picked out why, um, which really fits in more into the what category. They, they have it labeled differently. But they give sort of a reason. They not only say we're a microblogging service that connects you with your friends and family, but they give, a, they give sort of a funny, sort of off-the-cuff answer. You know, eating soup, which is the classic Twitter, um, you know, mom wants to know. So it's sort of a, it's sort of a funny sort of... Um, uh, yeah, off the cuff, but it, it still covers who they are, what they do, and in in the process of answering those questions, they they answer um, why why you should sign up. This is uh, actually a website I worked on with my buddy Jared Coleman, who owns Pro Photo Rental. Um, the URL is about.asp. It's a file, so you have to throw on ASP. Um, but so, so there's some cool, you know, we wrote the text, which is basically who and what, um, labeled them really pretty, pretty boldly. It's not hard to see, see how that works. So, you know, who, who they are, how they serve, you know, photo rental, what's special about them. Um, and then who, who are you is more or less a, a what section, um, talking about people's needs. Uh, what I liked about it, threw a, Jared threw a picture up. So that it really brings home the who. I have that on my about page too. But so to give some context to the copy and then a link to Twitter, which is always real nice. So, well, you know, you don't, in answering who you are and what you do, it's text-based, talking about copywriting here. But you can also use support from, from some other things, which is sort of cool and um, helps bring some, some context to the whole page. Brian, could you just explain what you mean by copywriting? Okay, sure. Back to square one, yeah. Um, the copy or the writing part? The legal, or are you talking about writing? Are you talking about the legal issue? Are you talking writing? about, say, copywriting a name? No. Nope. Oh, no. Different spelling. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Copywriting is legalese. Copywriting is the the use of words, you know, just typing it out, it's like, you know, writing, but you put a copy on it means it's sort of business based, which is, I think, is the best definition there. That, sorry to not clear that up from the beginning. So, to, to clear it up, this is not about any legal things, this is about the creative part of your website. That's correct. Except if you post nude pictures of someone, then it becomes legal. <laughs> That's not You're right. But who needs writing if you have new who pictures? Needs writing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brian's copywriting tip. <laughs> the right picture. The right picture's worth a thousand words. They say that. They do. Um, all right. <laughs> leaving examples for a little bit. Let's get into sort of my top five concepts um, of about page. So we're about to get into giving you an opportunity to try to write your own. So I'm just going to go over, hopefully the examples give you some context about what I'm looking for or what I'm looking at with about pages. Let's look at some concepts. The two I already talked about, who you are, what you do. Um, obviously, there's, I'll go over some of it, but there's a little bit more you know, complexity there. I put those two out there because those are the most simplistic things, um, which leads me to this, which is simple. The simple, the better. All writing um, comes out easier if it's simple. Um, I aim to sort of write like I speak. Um, the simpler you speak, the you know, the simpler you write. Speech is simple to, to get the point. So focusing just on these things will help you will help you have a sort of a simple and humble approach. You're more or less speaking to your visitor one on one, saying, This is who I am, this is what I do. No pretenses, no bragging. There's no need to, to brag. If you need to you need to redo your product, not talk about how great it is. Uh, your product should should more or less speak for itself. So don't need 10 pages of content to talk about how great it is um, unless it's a, a super complex. You need to more or less simply 
honestly and humbly state who you are and what you um, I think that, that, that that's always what, what serves companies best, not only in getting customers, but in keeping them. Um, lying to a customer to get them is always a losing proposition. Um, misleading someone to come to your store, figuring out they don't like it, it's a losing proposition. You'd much rather have them not come at all rather than you know talk about your misleading your misleading marketing or, or at least talk poorly about you or your personal brand. I'm I'm very honest in my personal brand. Don't mind if people don't like me. I don't mind if everyone doesn't hire me. Uh, my copywriting isn't for everyone, and that's important. I don't tell everyone that it is. So I think honesty really really serves writing the best. And and you can always tell whether you're talking to someone, whether you're reading someone right. Honesty shines. Dishonesty always shows up. Even if you can fool someone for 30 minutes, you're not going to fool them forever. Um, which kind of brings me to these next points. Um, Direct, which which really goes back to, to simple, honest, and humble. If you're simple, honest, and humble, you'll be direct. Um, if you're dishonest, then you're going to come off as indirect because you're not going to know what you're saying. So you can always say something honest with more power, um, and that comes that comes across. If you are these three things, and you're you're not afraid of being who you are, and, and you're not afraid of doing what you're doing, and you say it directly, the power will be palpable. You won't have any problem communicating that at all. And two things that, that really appeal to me, they're not for every copywriter, um, but I'm really well served, and I think business are really self, uh, well served to be first, casual, and second, perhaps conversational. That's, that's the one that's open to interpretation. There are some personal brands and some company brands that, that aren't necessarily conversational in, in their speech or, or ought to be in their writing. Um, you know, a biotech company, for instance. Uh, although I think they're well served to be conversational, don't necessarily have to be. But certainly casual and, and, and direct, um, which often ends up as being conversational. Um, it goes along with, with having no pretense, with being honest about your, um, about your services, saying, this is who I am, this is what I do, um, and I'm, I'm saying it to you like I'm in the room next to you. Um, it's an about page, it's, it's saying, <coughs> saying about me. So just as, as I would introduce myself to someone at a bar or introduce myself to someone I just met in a social media class. Um, it's, it's honest, it's simple, and it's, it's casual, direct, and, and because, because it is all those things, it can be conversational, it, it can be, it doesn't have to be stiff, and it, it can invite interaction. Human to human, more or less. Uh, there's no, um, no, no reason to, to, uh, to give errors or put distance between, between you and anyone else in an about page. Um, it's, it's really an amazing opportunity to be human um, and to talk directly to people, which isn't, isn't always an opportunity to do in, in every situation on your website. And the last one, going over the concepts of about pages, leave room for more. That, um, this goes back to what I was talking about, having your brand build. But about page is, is a place to simply state who you are and what you do. There's no reason um, to give them everything. You don't need to worry about um, it serving as everything. Um, you, can, you can state what you want to state and have them, have them be intrigued and, and want to go. Go to the services page. Go back to the home page. Send you an email. I even usually have a link to a, a contact page at the bottom of my about page. If someone reads it, gets, gets everything they need, th they'll leave. About page doesn't serve um, as as everything. It serves as a gateway to for them to connect with you on Twitter, or for them to comment on your blog, or, or click on your services. Do you, when you say like leave room for more, do you intentionally hold things back um, and like prepare stuff in advance that you like slowly roll out, or how do you do that? Um, I don't. That goes back to being direct. Um, so it's not necessarily a scheme. It's not a sales tactic to leave more on the table, but it's also a, a focus on being simple, short, and to the point. Um, and and the point about there leaving room for more, yeah, it's it's a good question because it's not about not about making sure I, ha I have a nugget that I can give them to them in an email. It's a, a sales tactic which detracts from being honest. Um, so it's more about not focusing on communicating who you are, what you do, and what you want to communicate instead of trying to communicate everything, trying to be everything to everybody right in your about page. And that's what I mean.